Wow, I'm so hyped on this new PC build. Everything worked out great. I even saved some money on using the GPU and power supply from my old PC. But wait, now that I move the parts, how will I power my old PC? Let alone the current GPU market climate. Goddamn Bitcoin. What am I supposed to do now? I wish someone would give me a power supply. What's going on nerds? Mark here, back with a new Noisy Pixel Tech video. And today we are putting my old PC back together after a new PC and I used the power supply from that one as well as the graphics card from that one from my old computer. So guess what? We need a power supply for my old PC and here we are. We have the MWE 750 from the Cooler Master. So get ready for a full tour of installation of this bad boy. It is so hot out the last few days. We're going to do a quick unboxing of this power supply, get you familiar with what accessories will come with it, and we will go into the installation. Here is the box. You know, we got a box, it's purple. It says Cooler Master. It contains a power supply. The flap opens like this. Manual on the floor. And we have our power supply at the top there, as you can see, ooh. We're just gonna take this guy right out. Here we go. Plastic wrap, like so. We'll take it out of the wrap. Why not, for fun. So quickly we can familiarize ourselves with some ports here. We do have some SATA and power, uh, four different ports here for that. We do have our motherboard power supply port here. We also have our CPU and PCI Express power cables there as well. Cables, branding, air ventilation, mumbo jumbo, fan, black square. So that's it for the power supply. This will be installed into this PC very shortly. It did come with a little baggie of screws, so don't lose this little bag. Uh, we got four mounting screws. We have a power cable, and we are provided, separate from the power cable, a large holster of needed cables. So we're gonna quickly run through them. These are standard wires, but we have our motherboard power here. This is going to be the biggest wire you're gonna get in your packaging. That's gonna provide power to the entire system for the most part. And then we have a variety of fan link cables. We have our SATA power cables, and we even have our uh, CPU and PCIe cables in here. More cables than you'll really ever need, possibly, unless you're like a severe enthusiast and need this crazy build. I mean, even my build was crazy and I didn't need that many cables. So they do over provide you with wires and get you exactly what you need. So other than all this plastic, around me. I think it's time to bring this guy back to life. Unfortunately, I won't have a GPU right away due to the current climate of GPUs, but we're gonna power it on with the MWE 750 Cooler Master and hopefully get it running once again and get another computer in my room. This is gonna be my backup slash second editor slash second LAN computer. So if anyone wants to come over and play some League LAN with me, I'm here for you. I haven't played games in a while because I've been super busy with this as well as other things. But you know, life hits you with lemons. But anyway, let's get into the build here. If you are curious about how to install these power supplies, it's fairly simple, fairly self-explanatory, but in some cases it's not. So if you're a new builder or if you just want to refresh your memory, I'm here to help you out. Let's get started on the build here. On this PC, I never really cared about wire management and I'm not gonna start now, so the wires are a little all over the place. It's not gonna stop me from putting it together. So we're gonna start with the unit, and we're going to screw it in. Get this nice and snug in that little divot here, at least this case has this divot. And nicely we have our threads all lined up. Honestly, that's like most of the work. A lot of this power supply stuff isn't really too hard. First, we're gonna start with the motherboard power cable. I'm going to try and snake this um, somewhat cleanly here. Just put it right at the top, kind of where it needs to be. Pull it snug, 
First cable we're gonna do, other than the main motherboard power, is going to be our CPU. We're just gonna install the, the power supply part to the power supply. We're gonna snake the CPU power from the bottom here. Our CPU power is in. Now all we have to do is the fan linkage. It's just really hot in this room right now, and I'm in this corner trying my best. It's got a normal power plug right here, but then we have four SATA power plugs. And what that is going to allow us to do is get our two hard drives up and running, and it is also going to get my disk drive, which I still have in here and it's going to allow me to plug in this little fan plug I have to make all my fans work. I'm just gonna go for it. All right, we're in there. Our first most powerful hard drive will get the first link. So in this case, I think the one that needs the most power is probably going to get, that's gonna make my hard disk. So then I'm gonna do my solid state and my local disk second, and then I'll do the fans and the disk drive or something like that. CD power is in, and all we gotta do is this little fan plug I left somewhere. Yes, here it is. And we have successfully connected all four connectors. And I think that's really all we need to do. I don't have a GPU yet, so we're going to test this PC out. So this is basically the moment of truth here. I just plugged it in, and we're gonna plug it into my power supply over here really quickly. And we're gonna see if this boots up or powers on realistically. And we're golden, woo! Oh my God, thank God. All right, awesome. Because I'm terrible at building PCs, at least back when I built this I was, not anymore. I'm a little better now, you know? But I'm thinking if I just zip tie them right here, we'll be fine. These have to come up and like, like this a little bit. So we're just gonna try and zip tie these guys so they don't do anything dangerous. All right, everybody, it looks like we're good here. This PC is up and running. Couldn't be happier, honestly, to have a second PC just ready to go. I do need another graphics card, so we're gonna have to figure that situation out. But thank you, Cooler Master, for sending out the MWE 750. On that note, thank you. Click that like button if you enjoyed this somehow. I don't know, if you just happen to find yourself watching this video for fun. I love you and want you part of us. So subscribe and like and comment and do all those fun things. Catch you on the next one. Noisy Pixel out. Noisy pixel.